Hey guys, what's up? So I am in a huge, horrible time crunch today. I am out of breath because I've been running up and down the stairs, but I just got home. I took off my makeup and I'm going to do a get ready with me video tonight. <sighs> I need to breathe. Okay, my husband, his IT summit was this week. And so tonight is like the bring your spouse with you and it's business casual, but going to get all glam. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's going to be really, really fast. I have a habit of not being able to get done in time, so let's go really, really fast. And I'm going to go ahead and start with doing my hair, putting my hair down. I should probably get a heat protection, shouldn't I? I'll be right back. Something's burning up here. Okay, I'm going to use Paul Mitchell Hot Off The Press Heat Protectant Spray, and I'm just going to run that all over. It is nearly ran out, but I'm just going to start by pin curling my hair. And then I'm going to kind of do like an updo. So I'm going to go ahead and separate the bottom from the top. God, I need to brush my hair. And clip that up here. Shoom. And I had to go to Target today during my lunch break. Because uh, ran out of bobby pins. When you run out of bobby pins, they're gone. Where do bobby pins go? Like seriously. Where do they go? You know how they say there's like a sock monster in the dryer? Oh, I think there's a bobby pin monster... Like on my back or something. Something. Something going on. So, okay. I'm gonna freaking breathe. Well, I'm kind of waiting for my curling iron to heat up my stuff to dry. And I'm gonna warn you right now, it's gonna get dark here pretty fast. Are you okay, sis? Snorry little puppy. I'm gonna go ahead and start with my brows, and I'm just gonna be using the Anastasia brow gel with my Ardell. Ah! Do end brush. I've kind of planned out what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to have time to do it because like I said, I am on a crunch, crunch, crunch for time. Like in all day, I've just been thinking, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Gotta go. It starts at 5.30. Oh, I guess I can zoom in here. The little party starts at 5.30 and it is like 4.15 right now and I have to leave soon to give myself at least 15 minutes. Kurt hates it when I'm late, so can't be late. But um, I usually take about two hours to get ready. Oh, I know. Oh my god, my freaking brows. And this is when like double Jessica comes out to play. I get really like, oh, when I don't have time to get ready. It drives me crazy. And I probably could have stayed in my classroom and done my makeup. But then, I don't know, the janitors probably think I'm weirdo. And I really wanted to do a get ready with me video, so... Ugh. I need to get a makeup mirror in here. Oh my gosh, my brows look terrible. What is going on? Maybe I just need to let them dry. Oh my gosh, they look terrible. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and zoom out. And I'm going to go ahead and start pin curling my hair. And so I will split this back portion into two pieces. Maybe more than that. And then I will just take it, ah! I will take bigger sections. I don't know if you can see here. Like I will split these two and these will be two sections and then I will just pin them with a the bobby pin. I need to do bobby pins. Bobby pins, where are you? Just from Target, easy enough. They're dark brown. That will work. All right. And then I usually comb each piece or brush it, I guess. My husband's already starting to text us and be, where are you? Okay, I'm going to burn my ear off, I know that. And then I'm just going to roll it, roll it down, and then roll it all the way up, and I'm going to hold it there for a little bit. Do, 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 do. And then I will let it fall down into my hands, but it's still being curled. And if I need to re-roll it, I will, but I usually don't. So I will just get it really, really close to my scalp, open a bobby pin with my teeth. Mm just going to help to set the curls and make them last a little bit longer and it also makes my curls a little bit tighter. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and continue this. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have the first five pieces 
hairspray. I have the first five pieces rolled, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like. And then I'm just gonna spray them. Not a whole lot of hairspray, but just kind of like a setting spray. <laughs> hairspray and then I'm gonna go ahead and part my hair usually where I would normally do it oh no I don't want to do that yet I'm gonna go ahead and to continue to work up the back a little bit and just kind of split it right here my nails are terrible I'm gonna go ahead and section this piece off and just continue to curl it backwards now, if you were going to wear your hair down, you might want to curl it in different directions, but that's not what I'm going for tonight. Ow. So I'm just going to continue to curl it. I'm just gonna go ahead and separate my bangs from the rest of my hair and go ahead and curl this last piece and then I'm just gonna kind of let my bangs free fall here and then I'll pin them out of the way when I get ready to do my makeup and then I will go ahead and spray everything and then let it sit for the duration of my makeup and if you are curious I am using a Hot Tools Helen of Troy, and this I think is an inch and a half maybe. And then I'm using Big Sexy hair, and then just a border brush or brush to tease. And there's hair everywhere, and I hate hair. All right, last one. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and spray, 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 spray. spray. I'm not gonna spray it too much because I don't want it to be like crunchy. <laughs> Got crunchy taco. My bangs for this time. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start with my eyes. I don't know what I wanna do yet, but, okay. Zoomy, zoomy, zoom. Ooh, I hate hair. Go ahead and prime using the Urban Decay. I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit on my finger, rub it into the back of my hand, and then just apply it all to the eyelid. Okay, and then using the Joy to the Girls palette, there it is. I'm gonna be taking the Transition Color Cookie Dough, just a really nice, light brown on an E25 blending brush and I'm going to be placing that all into my crease. No, actually I'm going to start with an E40. I lied. My vice pal too, mirror. And I'm just going to start that on the outer half and work it in, keeping a pretty light look. This will just make for a very, very nice transition color. Okay, I'm gonna take an E25 to kind of darken that up a little bit. It's not really that dark right now. I'm just gonna soften my lips using an EOS balm in lemon. Okay, and then I'm gonna take Demolition and Smog from Urban Decay, just these two colors, and I'm gonna go ahead and fill in or I'm gonna be placing down some dark shadows. So it'll be all over the lid. Oh, actually on the outer half of the lid. And I'm going to go slightly above my lid since I have hooded eyes. Let me get a little bit more here. 
Okay, and then I'm going to take demolition on the inter half and kind of just mix those two together. Looks a little crazy. I'm holding the eye taut, not very tight, because once you let go it when holding it tight, it's I'm gonna go ahead and take a flat shady brush. I'm gonna take the one probably from Sigma, if I can find it. It's just an E55 brush, and I'm gonna go in with that color chestnut, and then Yule Log, and then maybe some of this coal color, just a really dark outer color, and then I'm just gonna pat it all over that. We replace that darker color. And then I'm going to kind of just bring it in a little bit. Make sure I have it even on both sides. The left side is a little higher. Okay, I'm then going to take a 25 brush and blend over the top of that. I'm just going to keep a very, very, very light hand. Actually, I'm going to pick up some more of that cookie dough. Cookie dough! Okay, it still looks a little crazy, I know. Um, and then I think I'm going to use Prancer as um, the inner corner right there. Ooh. And I'm going to apply that with another short shader brush. I'm just going to be using a different one from this is one from Eco Tools and it has some product on it. Oh well. Oh my gosh, I just picked up way too much. <laughs> Yesterday I went through all my palettes and swatched every gold color to try and pick the best gold color. Oh, and this is beautiful. Look at that, like antique. Looks just like antique gold almost over that brown. That's pretty. And I'm only going to take it about halfway down the lid and kind of just blend it out a little bit. Okay, and now I'm going to work on blending this little bit out. Oh, I'm like way not even in focus right here. Okay, what do I want to do? I'm going to take the E45 brush. It looks like this. It's just a dome-shaped brush, and I'm going to take up some of that chestnut and just kind of work it up here a little bit higher when I have hooded eyes <laughs> when I have hooded eyes I always have hooded eyes I tend to bring everything up higher and that will make your eyes look a little bit more alive oh my god so like weird colored right now there we go Okay, and then I'm going to go over that with coal. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and do my highlight. I'm just going to be using an E70 brush. I'm trying to memorize the numbers of this because I'm so sick of looking them up when it comes time to video edit. I'm just gonna plop Snow Angel in my brow. Oh yellow. And then I'm also gonna just tiny 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 bit in the inner corner here. Kind of connect them. I'm just gonna be using my favorite the Lorac Pro. Love this stuff. Love it. I'm going to go ahead and do false lashes now because if I don't do them, I won't do them. I'm in a time crunch, like I said. And I'm just going to be using a new one, so I hope they work out okay. It's just the 135s by Ardell. I usually go for the 110s, which are probably the smallest, but I have really hooked lashes. I'm just going to be using the Lashgasm from Too Faced. I'm 
I love this mascara. It is great. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put glue on my lashes using the Revlon Precision Adherence, the Ardell 135s. And these are a little smaller than the 110s, and they look like they mainly go on your outer half of your eye, which, no complaints here. Okay, and then I'm going to let them dry. What can I do while I let them dry? I'm going to go ahead and prime my face using the Beneficial Professional. Zoom out here a little bit. I'm almost out of this stuff, and it is so sad. Place it into my T-zone and work it out. I'm just an orange mess right now. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take my lash with tweezers. No other way to do it for me. Get a mirror. I need a bigger mirror. That was almost perfect. Okay, I'm just going to let those dry. I did pick up the Sephora airbrush, but I think it's going to be too light for what I am today. So I'm just going to be using the Makeup Forever, and I'm in a shade 18. This is their HD makeup, and I bought a new bottle. Oh my god, that looks so light. Is this right? Is this 18? What color am I usually? Same color. Yeah, it's the same color. Freaking out over no reason. And I'm just going to be taking it out on a fidgety brush. To conceal today, I'm going to be using my favorite, the Glamouflage, on an F86 brush. That's what it looks like. I'm just going to put it on the back of my head, my head, my hand. Okay, and then to set all of that, I'm just going to be using the Makeup Forever HD powder. I never get to use like any of this makeup because I just I hoard it for special occasions. Oh, where is it? And I'm just gonna be setting that with a Real Techniques contour brush. That's what it looks like. Oh, and it just all came out. I love this stuff. This is probably my favorite powder that I've tried thus far. I haven't tried a whole lot of like awesome ones, but I've tried like the Smashbox, the Bare Minerals. I'd like to try like the MAC. Oh, it just gives like a flawless finish. I love this stuff. Beautiful! Alright, to contour, I'm just going to be using Hula by Benefit. And this, my Bedhead Heaven brush, and then also an F86 brush. And start off with the F86 brush. Stupid freaking mirrors. I'm gonna do kind of a deeper contour since I'm gonna be it's gonna be darker. And I'm gonna deepen that up with an F86. Oh that's not an F86, an F84 brush. Okay, and then to do my nose, I'm just gonna use their Real Techniques pointed foundation brush. I'm going to go in my chin, and then also under my lip, and then I'm going to buff that out with an F. It looks a lot crazier on camera, I promise. Okay, and then I'm going to blend all that out with a powder brush. It's from Real Techniques as well. I'm going to go ahead and start taking down my hair. I'm going to start in the back. Don't worry, the face is not done yet. And I'm not going to pull the curls out. I'm just going to kind of let them sit up. And as you can see, they're really, really tight. They're really, really bouncy, like Shirley Temple type of curls. It's really pretty just to have this kind of down, but I'm not going to lure it down tonight. All right. I'm going to go ahead and section off, like, probably right behind my ear. And then I'm also going to section off behind this ear. 
So I'm just going to have this kind of this back portion. And I'm going to kind of gather that. And then kind of gather it back here into the side and just a ponytail. If you have thinner hair, I would not suggest a ponytail. I would maybe do like a, uh, a little rubber band. But if you can see, just this. And I'm just going to start taking sections and kind of curling them around where I put this ponytail. And when it comes to using bobby pins, make sure to get like the maximum hold, you want to push them up and then back down. So I push it up and then I turn around and push it back down. And then however many bobby pins you think that you need, and you just want to feel that it's secure. So I'm going to go ahead and take this piece. I know that I want like a piece out. And I'm just going to kind of take it piece by piece and kind of just section it back here. And just make sure that's nice and smooth. Okay, and then I'm just going to kind of do the same on this side with what we have kind of going up here. So I'm just going to make sure it's back nice and pretty. And then work my bobby pins into the ponytail. And then I'm just going to work the rest of this back here. And I know I want some hair down here as well. So I'll just leave out a little bit. So this is the final hair look. I just bobby pinned a couple things, but you can see here in the back, it's just nice and tight and yeah, that's how I like it. So with my face, I want to do blush next. And I'm going to lay down first the Makeup Forever HD blush. And I'm going to lay that down with a stippling brush from Real Techniques. That's what it looks like. Okay, and then I think on top of that, I'm just going to lay down NYX's blush in terracotta. This is my favorite. Okay, and then to clean up anything, if I get it way too high, I can just take that concealer brush and go right underneath that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put some darkness under my eye here. And I'm just going to take that color demolition. And just kind of connecting the two. Then I'm also going to just draw a little bit in my Okay, and then I'm going to push some powder into it. I'm just going to take an E65 brush and probably that Ulog color, the shimmery brown one, mixed with a little bit of that coal to really darken it up. And I'm just going to push that into where I just laid down that shadow. And you just want to make sure it's really connected with that top, with the top eyeliner. I'm going to be using the Lip Tar, OCC Lip Tar, and this is in, and I'm just going to be, <laughs> finish applying that with a lip brush from Real Techniques. I'm just going to put a, what or a makeup remover in my mouth and I'm going to drag it out so it doesn't get on my teeth later. God, the only thing I don't like about this lipstick is that it transfers so much. I'm just going to take my concealer brush and kind of clean up around. Beautiful. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get dressed and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I am out. I'm going to pin my hair back. Like I have some pieces falling out here. <laughs> I've just been running around like crazy. Okay. Um, what else? Okay, I think I want to put the bow in my hair, maybe. Okay, so I just put a black leather bow in. I am wearing a shirt from Target. My scarf is from Express. Oh. I'll make it, of course. Oh my gosh, my eyes are terrible. Oh, yes, I 